Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 11. One of the reasons that I like working with Cubase is that it has built-in pitch correction for vocals. That saves you on buying a third-party plugin like Melodyne or Autotune, and it works relatively identically. Now, the reason I've never done a tutorial on it is that I like to use pitch correction relatively sparingly. I think the imperfections in the voice are one of the things that can add character to modern music. However, I was recording a song this week that was a little bit out of my vocal range, so instead of transposing it down a step or something, I decided to go balls to the wall, full T-Pain, Cher, and Bonnie Vare, and try to max out my very audio vocal production. And here are five things that I learned by doing that. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're here in Cubase, and I'm gonna just play you the first phrase, and this is with auto-tune, um, with very audio bypassed. Closer to the promised land, and further from the truth. And here is with it unbypassed. Closer to the promised land, and further from the truth. Okay, and that's my first tip for you guys. Uh, try to sing it as close to source as you can because you can only stretch these algorithms so far. Like I was going to sing it an uh, octave lower, but I didn't like that sound. And if I sang it an octave lower, I could definitely hit all the notes, but when you pitch it up a full octave, it sounds weird. So I go, closer to the promised land and further from the truth. Well, if I sang that at this octave and go down an octave, uh, let's listen to it, and it sounds weird. Closer to the promised land and further from the truth. Now, if I sang that an octave lower and I auto-tuned it then or pitch corrected it then, it would sound way better. So tip number two, the more you quantize and the more you straighten, the more like a robot you'll sound. Now, as you can see, if I select this, uh, I won't get the opportunity to quantize it because I have absolute snap mode on, so it'll snap to fully quantize to a semitone. Now, the difference is if you turn it off, I think it does it by sense. So if I hit the arrow button, or you can sort of just freely move it around. So the difference between these modes is if I'm here between E and D sharp, and I choose relative, it'll go down a semitone from where it's at if you see what I mean. Whereas if I choose absolute, it'll snap to the grid. Um, so the more you quantize and the more you straighten, the more like a robot you'll sound. That's uh, tip two. So let's uh, just listen to this real quick. And i seen so many times, times they've come and gone. Now if we straighten this fully, and I have it at about 60%, because I want to retain some humanism, but if I go to 100, we'll hear the uh, drastic difference. And i seen so many times, times they've come and gone. So we'll go back to 60 where it was. Cool, uh, I like that. Now tip number three is you can drastically change uh, the character of something that you're pitch correcting by switching the formant. So I'll show you real quick. And I couldn't realize. Okay, that's uh, with the formant at zero. If you switch the formant to negative percentages, you'll have a lower sounding starting point. So let's check it out. And if you go up to the other side, and I realize. Um, so there's a whole world of processing by shifting the format and using subtle changes that I had didn't even delve into. I kept the changes, the format just at zero percent. But beware that that is another quiver in your arsenal when it comes to pitch correcting, changing the format a little bit to affect the sound. Tip number four is you can actually use Vary Audio to take the place of clip gain or automation if you're using it to pitch correct your whole track. So if we take a look at this waveform, it's gigantic and it actually clipped a little bit. So, I couldn't realize. so because this is well compressed in the mix or there might be automation on the volume uh, on the fader, it's not that important, but 
you can actually change the volume of every note uh, in Vary Audio. So if you want to lower that by, let's say, 6 dB, because it's too loud. Um, you can go all the way down to negative 28. Now, it doesn't sound that natural, but uh, you can see when you're not uh, totally affecting this, how you might be able to make syllables a little bit uh, quieter or louder from within Vary Audio itself, which could be a very useful time-saving tool. And tip number five is not really a tip. It's more of a question for you guys. Um, I have this pitch ramp, and I didn't find a good way to draw a line with Vary Audio. So it's not a tip, it's a question. Is there a way to draw a straight line? The way I did it was I used the cut to split segments, and I tried to sing it right the first time. So if we go to bar 96, where are we? Alone in So I don't know exactly um, the best way to do this. I do know you can use, you can tilt the waveform and it'll tilt along your anchor point and that, that's this top diamond here. So if you want to tilt the whole anchor the waveform, um, now, now I'm wondering, we'll I'll go back to where we were. Uh, what if I glued all these together? So you select all these and you hold shift to glue them. And you tilt, you straighten it. And then you try to tilt. Oh, but you have to adjust the anchor point. As you can see, you end up with this dip as it goes back to pitch. <laughs> so I don't know of a way to reliably draw pitch lines in, so I just tried to sing it my best and went from there. So we ended up with this. Alone in Colorado. And uh, one last bonus tip is I always set the color to pitch, just so that each pitch has a different color. Um, I mean, event and chord track, I didn't use a chord track in this song. I rarely use a chord track, although I should start using one more. Um, I could see where chord track would be useful, but I feel like pitch would always be more useful than event, personally. That's just my two cents. So, these have been five tips for using Vary Audio within Cubase. It's a very powerful little piece of software that's included that allows you to do vocal correction. You can have it be very subtle and realistic, or you can max out the quantize, max out the straighten, and get some of those classic T-Pain share and Bon Iver effects. So I hope you found this interesting. I'm gonna just play out this song and that'll be the end of the video. I hope you guys stick around to listen to it. It's just a demo. I didn't really uh, go full bore on it, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.